Please rise. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have brought us here by your grace. You have brought us together in community. And now we give thanks to you for the time that we have shared, for your faithful provision, for the gift of friendship. Now we ask your blessing on this ceremony and on all our graduates. As we leave here, fill our hearts with faith and hope for what lies ahead and lead us on in the way of Jesus of Nazareth, in whose name we pray. Amen. Good evening. Welcome to our 2023 early graduation ceremony. Um, we're very proud to continue to have this ceremony on an annual basis. This is one of the more special and unique things that we're able to do at King and speaks volumes to what our core mission is, which is simply to serve our students. Um, we place great value, obviously, in the educational aspect, but also in your athletic accomplishments and the opportunity we have tonight to recognize and celebrate your achievements is one that we do not take lightly and that we join uh, with all of your friends, family, and loved ones in celebrating you. We are proud of all of your accomplishments and everything that you have achieved here athletically and most importantly, academically. For each of you, when your coach recruited you, when they first contacted you, certainly we had athletic goals in mind, competing in the conference and NCAA championships that you will compete in this weekend, or certainly one of them. But ultimately, when they contacted you, this day is the reason that they recruited you. Uh, this has been the goal all along. You guys have excelled at that, and you have achieved this goal. So with that, I will turn the program over to President Whitaker. Thank you, David, and uh, welcome, everyone. We're delighted you're here. Uh, I have a great gift to give to each of you, and that is the ability, because you're here tonight, to tell all your friends and family that you graduated first in your class. So congratulations on that. Uh, you just walked the Oval, and uh, most of you walked the Oval when you first arrived on this campus. It is the center of our common life at King. Uh, it is the place we gather for celebrations, where we see friends. Uh, where we relax and where we remember. Uh, it's been important uh, to, to generations here, but it comes as, as a surprise to many that the Oval has not always been here. Indeed, 
uh, it was only added uh, a little over uh, 60 years ago. Uh, and before that, the oval was a dog's breakfast of parking and gravel and roads. It was just kind of a big mess. Uh, and then an architect came in and uh, decided that to take all these buildings, which faced in different directions, and bring them all together, that an oval would be a fitting way to do that. And so the oval uh, was born. And, and most alums who return to King think the oval has always been here, but it hasn't been. I think the oval is a wonderful symbol for what we try to do at King and what I hope has been your experience. Uh, because when you got here, you were a bit like those buildings, perhaps, that sit around uh, the Oval today that were facing in different directions. Perhaps you did not know where you were headed. Perhaps you did not know what was ahead. And yet, uh, by the end of your time, you look back, and it all makes sense in the way that Oval made sense of, those, of this campus. Everything that you've done in reverse suddenly makes a lot of sense. And it's our great hope that what we've worked to do with you as students here has been to bring all those things together so they fall in place as if they were always meant to be because of course they were. And we congratulate you not only on walking the oval when you first got here, but I congratulate you on this final walk around the oval just now. Now today is a day of gratitude. It's a day uh, to be grateful that your grades are done, that your requirements are met, uh, that you're, you're about to finish, but it's also a time to be grateful to some very specific people. Uh, and I'd like you to, to join me in thanking uh, those who are here, uh, especially the faculty and staff at King. So please join me, graduates, in thanking the faculty and staff, the coaches who brought you to this point uh, today. Uh, and secondly, join me in thanking those who are here with you because uh, your families, your parents, and others uh, made this possible for you. Long before uh, you were even born, they were thinking about college, indeed how to pay for college when you, when you got older. Uh, everything they did was to prepare you for an education such as you have received at King. Uh, all the decisions they made about your schools, about your sports, about your chores, about when to punish you, when not, when you were a toddler, all those parental decisions were to help form you so that you would be successful on this very day. They also made it financially possible for you to come here. A college education is not an inexpensive endeavor for anyone, uh, and yet they sacrificed so that you could be here today. So please join me and join all of us in thanking your families for making this day possible. <laughs> Finally, as I reminded many of you uh, when you first began, uh, there is an invisible group of folks that you probably don't think about often, but they're here nonetheless, uh, and they truly made almost everything you see around you possible. And those are the alumni especially, and other donors, who went before you. Those who gave back to King so that you could follow in their footsteps. They are the ones who built the buildings, who paid for the playing fields, the soccer pitch, the basketball court, the dining hall. They're the ones who funded scholarships so that you could be here today. Uh, almost no one, and probably no one, pays the full rate to come to King because we have scholarships that make it uh, less than the full cost of education, and those scholarships are given uh, by our donors. So virtually no one can say truly that they paid their full way through King because of this invisible host of benefactors that has been here with you all along making it possible. Now, in a little while, I'm going to read off uh, uh, the diploma language, the magic language that will confer your degrees. And one of the things I will confer on you is, are the responsibilities that come with that degree. And one of those responsibilities is to follow 
that invisible army of benefactors to join them and to help sustain this school for those who follow you after today. Early when you arrived here, we talked about King's mission of being thoughtful, resourceful, and responsible. And as we send you from this place, I remind you again of those three very important words and remind you always to be thoughtful, that is to think deeply, both about other people and as you seek to understand them, as well as about ideas. Uh, to not take yourself too seriously, to always with humility uh, look at every issue from every side. Never to make prejudicial assumptions about others, but to know that they are people uh, with deep dimension to them, far beyond what you can see. Always be thoughtful, and you will live into that part of the King mission. Always be resourceful. Always draw upon initiative, upon experience, upon knowing where to look for answers, solving problems, those things we have taught you here. Don't always run to others, but see if you can draw on the resources that you have been given here at King and in your life before to solve problems instead of always depending on others. And finally, always be responsible. Take ownership for your actions. Take ownership for your failures and your successes. To not blame others, but to live into being an adult and a full citizen by being responsible. These are countercultural values these days, which is one reason they are so important to the education we provide at King. Congratulations this evening to all of you who are, who are going to cross the stage. Uh, you have accomplished a great deal. Uh, you're not done yet. You all have uh, contests yet to, to, yet to play and uh, work yet to do. And we wish you well in those contests. We wish you well uh, in the days ahead. And we, we certainly invite you to return often uh, to this, your alma mater. Congratulations, class of 20. 23. King University is a Christian institution with deep Presbyterian roots. As such, we affirm that the Bible is God's word written and believe that it teaches us about God, ourselves, and the world, and shows us how to live. In addition to offering diplomas at graduation, we also offer a Bible as a gift to each King student. Our prayer is that God's word may be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path all the days of your life. Mr. President, the degrees will now be awarded in course. The following candidates have satisfied or expected to satisfy all requirements prescribed by the faculty of King University for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. And the trustees of King University have therefore ordered that this degree be conferred upon them. John Wesley Bonney, magna cum laude. Joshua Thomas Boer. Jackson Hawk Carroll. Peyton Ruth Day. Maggie Elizabeth Deal. John Stanley Sarnowski, magna cum laude. Christian Walzak, cum laude.
Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts please remain standing? By the authority of the state of Tennessee vested in the trustees of King University and by them delegated to me, I now confer upon you who have completed all requirements the degree of Bachelor of Arts with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. The following candidates have satisfied or expected to satisfy all requirements prescribed by the faculty of King University for the degree of Bachelor of Science. And the trustees of King University have, therefore, ordered that this degree be conferred upon them. Vale Ray Baker. Michael Grant Cordova. Nicole Lynn Counts, magna cum laude. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Dye. Aaron Noel Foster. Davis Brooks Hall, magna cum laude. Ethan Eugene Hawkins. <laughs> Lauren K. Lawson, Snyder Honors Fellow. Aaron Taylor Milstead. Katie Nicole Newbert, summa cum laude, as well as Snyder's Honors Fellow and Honors in Independent Study in Biology. Henry Chidaberry Okoye. I want you to know I had none of that Latin on any of my diplomas. Congratulations uh, for those who had that, uh, those wonderful distinctions. We're waiting for you, Henry. Well, the candidates for the degree of Master uh, of uh, Master of Business uh, remain standing. Bachelor of Science. Bachelor of Science. Excuse me. Yeah, sorry, that's my fault. The provost made an error. <laughs> by the authority of the state of Tennessee vested in the trustees of King University and by them delegated to me, I now confer upon you who have completed all requirements the degree of Bachelor of Science with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. And, and you were this close to having a master's degree. <laughs> The following candidates have satisfied or expected to satisfy all requirements prescribed by the faculty of King University for the degree of Master of Business, and the trustees of King University have therefore ordered that this de degree be conferred upon them. Jacob Thomas Brown. <laughs> K. 
Cameron Ashley Brooke Haig. Caleb Thomas Helms. Samantha Lee Helms. Andrew Thomas Moore. Madison Taylor Walter. Joseph Greer Watson. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Business please remain standing? By the authority of the State of Tennessee vested in the trustees of King University and by them delegated to me, I now confer upon you who have completed all requirements of the degree of Master of Business with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. So before we go, now that you are graduates of King and you are now distinguished alumni, you need to be able to sing the alma mater. And I've got those lyrics printed on the program. I got that part right. So if you all would please stand and join us as Dr. Han Ong, professor of biology, leads us in the singing of the King University alma mater. Please join me. In the hills of Appalachia, pointing to the sky, stands beloved our alma mater, holding ideals high. Hail to the We thy praises sing. Swell the chorus, all who love her. Hail, all hail to King. After college days, we'll cherish memories of thee. Treasure ties that ne'er can perish form that old KC. Hail to thee, our alma mater, we thy praises sing. Swell the chorus all. Please remain standing. Congratulations again to all of our first graduates and uh, good luck to all of you competing this weekend. I want to remind everyone uh, before Brian comes back to close us in prayer that we do have uh, light refreshments and snacks in the dining hall. Uh, please, you know, take photos outside, but we would love to see all of you in the dining hall uh, just for some 
uh, brief fellowship uh, before any other plans that you have tonight. But congratulations and good luck. Thank you. And now as you go, may you know the grace and guidance of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, in the decisions you make and the dreams you pursue. May God's love meet you on every path, and may God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, fill you with faith and hope and peace in all that lies ahead. Amen. Amen.